A memorial service honoring and remembering victims of gun violence, especially a recent rash of teens accused of killing teens. Tatiana Cash, she was there for that, and she joins us now with more on the turnout for this evening. Tatiana, what can you tell us? Well, Jeff, now whether it was the service that we attended, both myself and Chase Bachman, or whether it was the dinner, there was this intense passion for change. Some parents cried for the children they lost. There were even former gang members asking for forgiveness and vowing to help to be the change. <laughs> There were tears, as well as apologies. For every mother here, I would like to apologize to you first because I am the person you're talking to. I am a, a gang member from Southside Toledo nationally. It took a lot of people to invest in me, to change the mind frame of what was hurting me, to traumatizing me. The Coalition for Peaceful Neighborhoods in Toledo and St. George's Cathedral's Remembrance Dinner was filled with emotion. Pastor Rick Morris says he's proud of all the families, faith and community leaders like Save Our Community that attended. Because the city needs to heal and understand people can change because he was a gang member for many years. Being someone who was convicted of a very violent crime myself, it took other people to reach me. We need to reach out to the shooters. They aren't going to come here. Within the last two months, Three teens have been killed and three have been arrested on murder charges. And many tonight say the youth need help. And as the only teenager in attendance, Brandon Alls Jr. says he isn't surprised, but still disappointed. As you can see, this day and age, you can't go nowhere without protection. And that's, that's not cool, man. We got to live in God's image. Claudia Kemp lost her son, Travis Glenn, to a stray bullet last October. And she says he was just sitting in his house playing with his kids. My son got shot over two 16-year-olds being the target. And we don't know if it was juveniles shooting at them, but all I know is that my son took a bullet for somebody. Between the attempts to heal and the hurt, many community leaders say they're ready to help. Some people are born to be real leaders, some people are born to follow. It's just that whatever God made you to be, Follow it, man. A lot of us who caused this pain, we are trying to correct and create a solution. And I'm sorry. For more information on the coalition, go ahead and visit peacefultoledo.org. Live in studio, Tatiana Cash, WTOL 11.